you go down to the woods today, you're sure for a pretty big surprise. Well, 23 big surprises to be precise. We're here in Sturgen, in the middle of the Swedish woods, and it's the place where we're going to find 23 developers coming to make some pretty awesome games. The idea of Sturgen came from Andy Warhol's old studio in New York called The Factory. Between 1964 and 1982, Warhol invited artists, musicians and filmmakers like Bob Dylan and Mick Jagger to go there and work on their projects side by side. This was the inspiration that the general manager of Rovio Stockholm, Oscar Berman, took when he sat in his office with Tommy Palm, the mobile game guru behind Candy Crush Saga. They'd spend the summer with 23 games developers in Sweden and mentor them with experts from companies like Mojang, Dice and King. My name's Alicia Judge and for the next two months I'm going to be here following these developers as they produce some of the best games we've seen out of Sweden. This is the country that's produced Candy Crush, Minecraft, Battlefield and more. So we'll see what they come up to with the next two months and in the meantime let's go see where they're going to be staying. This is what a room in Sturgeon looks like. This is the lake. This is the studio where all the magic happens, but we're not allowed in there yet. I think they're just setting up, so we'll see you in a bit. So, there you have it. The sun is shining and as you can see, preparations are in full swing. It's nearly time for the developers to arrive, so let's head to Stockholm to see where they're at. How's your game going? What stage are you at before you come to Sturgeon? I, I have a nice foundation where you can do nothing but jump around on planets. Nice. Uh, and I'm now at the point where I will start to make puzzles and, and stuff for the player to actually do in the game, basically. Nice. Um, I have a couple of songs from my musician and I have a bit of writing from my writer. And uh, my aim is now to create the whole game in, in Sturgeon. Uh, so what's your game the, called? It's called Planeter, and uh, you jump around on planets, recreating the universe, finding friends, and now I just have to create the friends and the planets nice. and the uh, bits. Yeah. And also get a tan. Um, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully a bit of that too. Hey guys, hey. sorry to interrupt, you're, you're hard at work, yeah. clearly. Very. We're researching water, uh, fluid dynamics, <laughs> <laughs> very important part of the game is, now. Is water in your game? Well, it's gonna be, now. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your game about? What's the... Um, our game is about a young girl called Ross Vita. Nice. Um, she's sort of getting to the age where she's butting up uh, against the confines of her home. And this leads her to go on an adventure where she uncovers the uncanny truth of her life and the world around her. Ah, oh, that sounds mysterious. Sounds mysterious, mysterious. <laughs> and deep. And no vague. pun intended. Nice and vague. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And what else? What are you going to get from Sturgeon apart from the fact that there's a beautiful lake to swim in? Yeah, first time I've been clean in years. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, one of the best things that we're looking for, um, all three of us. Mark over there. Uh, we're Hi, based Mark. in London and <laughs> you know we're, we're working freelance and everything's just go 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 and you know it's hard to focus on yeah. the thing we're really passionate about which is the game. Yeah. So being here just having the space the time and the peace of mind as well and the support to actually get our game made is just an nice. incredible opportunity. Nice and that's, that's all very well and good but what we really want to know is can you do a forward roll underwater? Yeah. I can if it's a bit deeper. <laughs> cool. Handstand as well? Handstand? Can you do a handstand? No, I just tried the handstand, mate. It's gross. You don't want to touch really that. Really <laughs> Alright, cool. you ready? I'm ready. Woo! 
<laughs> Woo! Well done, multi-talented developers. So Amy, what's your game called and what's it about? So I'm working on a game called Sunshine and it's ah. a first person stealth thriller kind of game set in the future that's uh, inspired by the Edward Snowden leak. So it's about like the surveillance state. Nice, it's a very apt name for a day like today when the sun is shining. Yeah, and we have the sun going all night too, so. It's true, that's an welcome to Sweden. <laughs> it's great. Why, why should people really care about playing your game? Uh, well, it's gonna have an interesting mix of like an unconventional implementation of stealth and have some cool twists to it. The, the really cool stuff is basically stuff that I don't want to spoil. Ah. Uh, but but it, there, there's definitely, with everything with the game, there's definitely more than meets the eye is like a very, very common thread throughout the game. Nice, like kind you, of. You think things are one way and then it turns out to be a different way and then it happens again and you're... Yeah. And it's virtual reality, right? Uh, I am probably going to release a version for virtual reality ah. uh, for, for the Oculus Rift because I have a dev kit. Uh, but for, for my time in Stugan, I'm definitely going to focus on doing just a regular screen 3D, or as I call it, Mungle 3D experience. And uh, I think after after Stugan, I'll work on doing the... Expanding uh, it. Yeah, expanding it for, for the VR and tuning it for that, because I have to do some special tuning to make it really work for that. Cool. What is so cold? I don't know how you're in this, oh, Robin. It's not so bad, really. You get used to it. If you move a bit, you swim around. It's nice. <laughs> swim around, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> how, are you, how are you finding Sturgeon so far? You've been here a few hours. Oh, it's amazing. Sure. I mean, we're still getting settled, and we still can't really believe that we're here for eight weeks, getting to, know. you know relax and just focus on our games and yeah, en yeah. enjoy the, kind of the countryside here it's really nice because that's one of the ideas of Sturgeon is it's coming back to nature and being inspired by nature around you how's that gonna Definitely. help you with yeah your game? I think um, the insulation is really nice so it's kind of getting rid of out, like the, all the outside influences really and kind of focusing on <laughs> for me is kind of prototyping as well kind of yeah, coming yeah. up with ideas and like being inspired here is really helping I think nice because yeah. your game is in space so. yeah, it's in space so it's quite a bit different really um, but it's um, it's yeah it's a, like a simulation game it's a very peaceful experience so mm. there's no enemies as such so you build up your own little uh. kind of robot base as such so you kind of mine minerals you kind of explore what the asteroids has to offer where you go and then you kind of do research you improve and um, yeah you kind of uh, explore the surroundings so and uh, my game is really kind of very early like kind of I need to figure out where I want to go with it, kind of do I want to have missions or like a sandbox environment. And I feel like being here really helps. So kind of a lot of other talent is here so I can kind of yeah. pick their brains and ask for their opinions as well. So I think it'll be really good. Awesome. Good luck with it. Yeah, <laughs> In the meantime, we'll swim around. Yeah. Day one has officially finished. The sun is setting. And so there's only one more thing for you guys to do. Do you guys know what it is they have to do? What is it? Subscribe! Subscribe!